Hello, my name is Jane and I work here at the Surrey History Centre. I'd like to take a few moments to introduce you to the wonderful treasures that we hold here and perhaps show you some of the sources and resources that you can use for your historical research. It's easy, it's free and the staff here will be delighted to help you. Among many other things, we are the county repository for the archives and local studies material for the county of Surrey. It's our job to protect and conserve these records while also making them easy for you to come and see. Our dedicated conservators spend painstaking hours repairing, cleaning and conserving our collections in order to make them accessible to the public. It's our job to preserve the past for the future. We hold over a million records housed in our specialist strong rooms on six and a half linear miles of shelving. The oldest document we hold dates from the 12th century and the newest, well, that's probably last week's Surrey advertiser. As you can see, all are carefully stored and packaged and our computerised location system makes them quick and easy to retrieve. Family historians can find parish registers, the census, poor law records, electoral registers, directories and so much more. Anyone interested in researching their house or local area will love our collection of maps, rate books, land tax and manorial records and you'll be amazed at the scope and quantity of our newspapers, periodicals and local studies publications. Everything from the Gentleman's Magazine in the 18th century to local and family history publications of the 21st. There really is something for everybody. If you have time, why not also take a look at our special collections? We hold the archives for the Broadwood Piano Company, the Lowesley Manuscripts, the Dennis Motor Vehicle Company archives and Surrey Regimental Records, not forgetting our wonderful Lewis Carroll collection. So how can you access these and all the other exciting records held here at the Surrey History Centre? Well, we have indexes to our collections available both here at the History Centre but also accessible online through our own website and the Exploring Surrey's Past website. Once you have decided which documents you would like to see, you can order these documents up from the strong room. The ordering system is simple to use and don't forget, there is always a member of staff here to help and advise you. If you know the reference numbers of the documents you'd like to see, you can even telephone us the day before and we'll order up the documents on your behalf and have them ready for you to see when you arrive. It only takes about 15 minutes for your document to be brought out of the strong rooms. For security reasons, we ask you to look at one document at a time, but you're welcome to order up to 10 items in one go, although do try not to order more documents than you have time to read. Some of the documents we hold here are used extensively, including parish registers. For conservation reasons, these records have been microfilmed, which makes them even easier to access. Simply ask a member of staff to allocate a reader to you, and they'll show you how to find the relevant fiche or film you need. If you've never used a fiche or film reader before, don't worry, they're very easy to manage. You can also take copies from both fiche and film readers using the reader printer. Many documents in our collections can be photocopied, but we will always judge each document individually to ensure that photocopying will not damage the document in any way. However, if a document cannot be photocopied, we have our own professional digital copying service. Alternatively, you're also welcome to bring a camera and take photographs yourself. Camera permits can be purchased in reception for a nominal fee. All of our collections are priceless, and for this reason I'm afraid there are a few security precautions we'd ask you to help us with. If you don't have a Surrey Library card or a County Archive Research Network card, we would ask you to bring some identification with you, something with your name and address on it, a driving licence, utility bill, bank statement or something similar. Food and drink is not permitted in the reading room, but we do have a small refreshment area with a drinks machine where you can take a break from your work and relax. If you'd like to bring food of your own, you're welcome to eat it there as well. We want your visit to the Surrey History Centre to be as enjoyable and as productive as possible. Although the staff here can't do the research for you, we're always here to help and advise when necessary. So why not visit our website and just see how much we have to offer and in the meantime, we look forward to seeing you very soon.